Glory be to Jesus Christ. Welcome to the Kingdom's Quest shield making tutorial. Here I'm going to teach you how to make a shield that you can get when you sign up for Kingdom's Quest. First thing, you're going to need to make sure you get all the pieces from St. Stephen's Parish. You need a black piece of foam. It's a little bit thicker and sturdier. A piece of thin foam. These are white so that you can color them any color you want. A small piece of wood with two holes drilled in it. A zip tie. A piece of pool noodle. And instructions. Of course, if you're watching this video, you probably don't have to read this that much but they'll be helpful. So the first thing that we need to do after we make sure that we have our basics of our kit here is to gather some more of our own supplies. We're going to need scissors. Remember, scissors are sharp, so be careful with them or ask your parents' help. You're going to need some sort of glue. I'm using fancy glue. Regular school glue will work fine too. And let's see, what else do we need? You'll also need some markers of various colors so that you can color on your sheet. The more colors you have, the more colorful your shield will be. So if you want a red shield, you'll need a red marker. Does that make sense? Now, for those of you who really want to go further than the normal, what you can do is you can get colored fun foam. You can get stickers or googly eyes or... Lots of different things to decorate your own shield. What I do requ require, though, is that you make your shield out of foam. That way, no one will get hurt. If you want, you can buy a full sheet of foam from well, almost any store. Uh, craft stores, hardware stores, uh, even Walmart has these kind of things. These are flooring sheets. And you can cut them to any size. Anyway, once you assemble all your materials, you and your parents can make your shield. The first thing that you have to do is to think about what shape you want your shield to be in. Now, of course, you can choose pretty much any shape that will fit this size. You can make it into a circle. You can make it into a square. That's probably the biggest you can make it. Or you can kind of do that shield shape, you know, the one with the pointy bottom. Um, in this case, I'm going to be making mine into a circle, kind of like a buckler. So I have with me one of my kitchen plates, and I'm going to trace my kitchen plate onto my board. And I have a pencil, so I'm just going to trace it on with my pencil. Once I've traced all the way around, then I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut out my shape. Now this might be a little bit hard, so you might want to ask your parents to help you. And of course, the bigger your scissors, the easier they'll cut. So if you can't get it, ask your parents for some help. There I go. I now have a nice round shape for the shield. And I'm going to need to make a handle for it. So the handle is going to be made out of this piece of pool noodle. And this to hold it on, this zip tie. And I need this piece of wooden block to make sure that it doesn't go through my, my shield. Although it's pretty strong, this little tiny piece of wood is going to strengthen it to make it really strong. So I'm going to put the wooden sh block in the middle of my thing. We're going to mark those two holes. And then we're going to take scissors and we're going to poke right through. Again, you have to be careful with this. Maybe you can ask your parents for some help. And you can poke your second hole right through with your scissors. Then you take your zip tie, you'll poke it through one of those holes, 
through the board, back through the board, and through the other hole. So it'll look like this. Then if you flip it over, you can put your pool noodle onto that same thing, and then tie it all together by using the zip tie. This makes a handy dandy handle that you can hold and use to hold your shield. Now, of course, you have this wooden piece with the zip tie on the front. And, well, we want to cover that up with our image. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our thin piece of fun foam and we're going to glue it on top of our shield. That way we'll have a nice coloring surface. But one thing I learned the hard way is it's much easier to first color and then glue it on. The only thing you have to be aware of is which way you want your handle to be. Do you want your handle so that it's up and down when you're holding it? Or do you want your handle side to side when you're holding it? So maybe most people probably want it up and down, but you can practice holding your shield and figure out which way you want to hold it. Then once you've figured out which your drawing is going to be, you can glue it on. And on the back side, you can trace out the shape of your circle. And cut out your shape. So now I have my circle cut out, and I'll be able to glue it on to the front. But again, if you try and color it here, you'll have that bumpy stuff in the middle. It's easier to color it first, then glue it on. And once you've glued it on with your own symbol, your shield is done. You'll be able to protect yourself from dragons and marshmallows and have fun with it at the first day of camp. So I'm looking forward to seeing you all on February 7th or any of the other days Bring your shield with you, and we'll see you there. God bless. Bye-bye.